Ganeshastha Kendra is organizing a medical camp here today for Rana Plaza victims. And uh, so far we have 85 victims came here. Uh, and they have been referred inside. We have uh, medical doctors, we have uh, psychiatrists, uh, gynecologists, uh, physiotherapists, uh, and the doctor of medicine. And we also have provision for lab tests, pathology tests. Uh, when the building collapsed, Ranaposa collapsed, the medical team of GK, we went there in uh, within an hour of the building collapse. And then uh, we had a team of 40 at that time. And we were involved in the rescue operation till the last day, like uh, 14th of May. And uh, we have, like, we brought out 21 victims, allies. Like, we organized around 16 medical camps in one and a half year. And uh, there were some specialized health camps as well. We had 28 pregnant survivors, so we gave antenatal postnatal uh, treatment. We had uh, physiotherapy camp, we had psychosocial camps, and we had three large medical camps in Ganeshastro. What we are doing at the moment is we have been providing free medical service for all the victims for the last one and a half years. We are also like all the operations, inpatient care, outdoor service, medicines, everything we have in GK is free for Ranabaza victims. And what we don't have, we refer to other hospitals. The one thing we are focusing at the moment is like uh, the psychological problems. Most of them are severely traumatized. So we come here in summer uh, three or four days a week and we give individual counseling, group counseling to victims. So far we have treated six, uh, 660 victims, psychological patients. And they are receiving treatment for over a month now, uh, counseling. The other thing we are focusing is the physiotherapy treatment and so far we have provided treatment to 128, uh, 120 victims in the hospital. Most of them stayed for one or two months, getting two physiotherapy sessions every day. And uh, also we are trying to uh, address the advanced surgery cases because some of them require operations at a moment. So if we don't have that, we are trying to liaise with other hospitals, say NGO, to kind of uh, uh, find a way. So Shabana was three months pregnant when she was in Rana Plaza. And then uh, uh, GK has supported her, like antenatal postnatal care. The delivery was also done in GK. And uh, like she, at the moment, she has like psychological problems, severe headaches. The baby is okay now but she is trying to start a small tailoring shop on her home. Uh, so she is quite positive. Fatima is uh, 20 years old. She was in Varna Plaza in New Wave style uh, in the sixth floor. And uh, she is very young uh, and in one and a half years she has not got much help so far. And she is suicidal because she has the flashbacks, the nightmares, uh, she is physically weak. She, can't, she is afraid of entering the building, she can't go out, she doesn't feel like it. So we are trying, through our psychologists, we are trying to support her uh, with our counseling so that she can come uh, to terms with the whole incident. But it's very difficult because uh, like, uh, her family is also putting pressure on her uh, to go back to work again. She used to earn around uh, 6,000 taka.